Yeah. And if you guys enjoyed it, really enjoy what you're seeing now, you know, just show some support with, you know, monetary donation. <laughs> and even if you don't, just kick back and enjoy the crazy games we have. Because we're getting Arvark versus Como, actually. Mm -hmm. So Villager and Cloud action. Mm, so I was loving some Cloud hype. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you really said it. He said it. Oh, man. All right, you got it. I mean, you got to own it, man. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is a part of me now. So this is an interesting matchup because Renai and Como are little partners, practice partners. Yeah. So Como's this is definitely going to be a matchup that he's familiar with, yes, to say the least. And it's one of Villager's worst matchups considered. But Arvark has been the, the uh, name for US Villagers. A lot of people consider him, uh, if not the best, definitely up there. Yes. So, this will be cool to see uh, how Arvark's particular playstyle of Villager fares against someone who's played against the best Villager in the world. This is a best three out of three, by the way. So, Oh, winner's quarters. Yes, not even in semis yet. And sometimes that's just an issue with MSM. You know, just too many good players. Too, too many stack players. It's okay, it's like, man, this has got to be a best five, right? No, no, no. Como's holding the ledge, as he's so known to do. Yeah, he's just gonna let you, <laughs> he's just gonna jump right over that and he punishes the the free fall of the, the side B. I mean, for him that's just free damage. Yeah, exactly. So No okay. worries there. Might be the snipe he's waiting for. Oh, oh that it, was an interesting setup. Using the tree uh the, the tree sprout hitbox to pull him all the way off the stage. Oh my goodness. Very smart to go right underneath the tree, recovering uh, sliding up against the wall. Yeah. But Como actually dodged that tree by connecting the hitbox of the Limit Clin Hazard. And it brought him low enough to grab ledge and just escape that that situation. That's huh. That's that's all that's something you can only get from a player who's probably played a thousand plus hours against oh, this yeah, character. Arvark's kinda trust uh, axe Como tree out of here on his first stock. Might have been overextended a little bit because Como still has the limit here. Is he going to get a reactionary punish? Oh, not enough. Wow. That high ceiling of Battlefield coming in. Cut. There he is again. I like how he just waited at the ledge, just standing his ground, knowing that I'm so good at this position to punish. So consistent. I was waiting here until you, you know, give me the free eye show. That was the same position that he was in when Arvark tried to jump over him, and then he landed the up air. Yep. He just went and stood in the same exact spot. Yeah, he's like, you're going to land right here. <laughs> Okay. Runs in, then retreats. I like his uh, crouches as well to deal with the projectiles. That's such an underrated, underrated tactic to use with pretty much every character with a crouch. For this matchup and uh, other characters who throw projectiles on a high uh, arc. But perfect pivot. Oh, no, not perfect pivot. Pivot grab, not to get the stock. The last hit. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, oh. But he still grabbed it. Oh. I think Arvark thought that was it. He thought he just got the watering can. I thought that fall. was it. <laughs> that would have been a really amazing overall. But Cole was just going to hang on to it. That was such an odd thought. Just wait a bit. But the fireworks will catch Como's Nair and take his first stock. Yeah. I've been seeing Arvark go for that um, up smash to catch jumps pretty, pretty often today. Short hops. I mean, covering that short hop option, really, really good in this game. A lot of players love their short hop option. Nice right, so gonna charge limit here. Oh no, Arvark's not gonna let him charge for free. Doesn't get the flare he wanted though. Is this gonna get an opportunity? Uh, yeah. All these down airs of follow he's missing are all missed opportunities to get him off stage. If he managed to connect those, he could have possibly edge guarded that. Interesting. But now we have. The limit, who cloud at the ledge doesn't get the grab on the roll, but he's still living here. Just all these, all these aerials just keep knocking Arvark off stage. Oh, so experienced with this character. Oh no, swung it uh, preemptively. Arvark's gonna hold block. And now and with no limit online, almost not looking as dangerous. Now with that limit kill options gone, but at 143 percent, aerials are still gonna kill. This is varied since. Como holding his ground almost has the limit in play. Oh! Still living the Lloyd stall. When, okay. when Arvark got hit with that back air, he actually took like a deep breath. I mean, he had time. He was yeah. like flying for <laughs> a very, very long time. But <laughs> the out of shield uh, class, uh, 
Absolute no limit, Clem Hazard. Arvar got kind of antsy at the ledge, said, okay, I have to do a mix up here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go for the forward air um, and yeah. see if I can see what happens. Hard, yeah. but I feel like, you know, a lot of uh, villagers do that. Like, that's kind of like the go to option for villagers. Like, just fair. Fair, fair off the ledge. Yeah, ledge jump fair. Can I just react to it appropriately? Got the option of beat. Well, I'm sure with uh, so many games against Renai, he's very, very aware of that option. How, how comfortable it is. Something Arvark always does uh, after the first game, he always switches his villager skin. I think he does that like regardless. Yeah, I know. Win or lose, Rainer he just wins. switches up. Did he not start with uh, the No, no. He was the, the the yellow villager. Uh. But looking at channel Renai himself right now, he's a nice color. Starting off really strong right now. Oh, Ooh. the tech chase bowling ball only taking 13%. Arvark's turning up saying, you know what? There's a reason I'm one of the best villagers in the U.S. right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, barrage. look at the barrage. And look at Cole just having a power shield uh, mini game there with all yeah. of the projectiles. Just power shielding all of those uh, slingshots and those getting slings. his limit charge in between. Yeah. That's something I always appreciate from Cole Curry. You like... It takes a tiny little second to charge, even just a, a little bit of limit. But Arvark yeah, not caring. You gotta take every that. frame you can get. Oh, yeah. Arvark not caring, though. Girls right behind him with the pivot grab. Ooh. Empty hop into up smash. Komo Kiri. Oh, that's gonna be it. I'm very wow. unfortunate for Arvark to jump into the into the uh, cross slash. Oh, yeah. That was actually the very last hit, too. But he's still in a really good spot. He's actually trying to turn this match all the way around, saying this is the best two out of three. I only need to win two games. I can see Cole back into the loser's bracket. But the uh, amazing damage of of Cloud has already brought this game back to even. Yeah, that's, that's the struggle in this matchup. <laughs> All right, he has the limit here. Oh, Avery went, or Arvark went to land with that uh, that nair, that down nair. I was down. Yeah, you see a lot of villagers when they try and struggle to land, and they just hope that you don't uh, catch their aerial. They just throw out that <laughs> dare. Paradin's yeah, popping off though. Oh yeah, she's not off the Paradin. She has to be enjoying it. Yeah, shout out to her for being here, man. Yeah, so that's a that's a long drive for her. And then of course she's uh you know hooking up Komo Rikiri and Renai. Yeah, just have them uh, where they're gonna be staying tonight.